As most dinosaur enthusiasts know, Qingdaosaurus' crest underwent a major revision in 2013. It now looks more like a standard Lambiosaurian crest, whatever that means. But I was curious about the soft tissues, because for about two decades there, it was really common to see these scrotal-looking structures. But before we scrutinize the scrot, I have two notes on names. I am pronouncing this Qingdaosaurus. For once, we have a dinosaur made in China that was found in China. And the city it was named after is pronounced something like Qingdao. So then the question is, why did they spell it like that? Well, in 1958, when it was named, they were still using the old postal romanizations of Chinese. And I thought that that was the explanation, but then I noticed that animals that are named way more recently, like Jehelopterus, named in 2002, which I guess should actually be pronounced uh, Jehelopterus? I don't speak Chinese, I'm sorry if I messed up the tones. I don't speak Greek either, but I'm not sorry about that one. So I realized I might be approaching this the wrong way. Written or printed taxon names have reducing visual ambiguity as a much more important priority than accurately encoding phonemes. What you need is a distinct combination of letters that is still recognizable in print, even if you can't print the diacritic marks and so forth. So in a way, Latin scientific names are kind of like written Chinese, where the meaning is the same even if different people are going to pronounce it completely differently. I'm still going to say it Qingdaosaurus though, because now I'm in the habit. 